Hi, um, I'm Shauna with Escapod, and uh, today we are here at Solitude Mountain Resort, and I'm going to cook you guys breakfast here in the parking lot. So what we're making today is actually going to be a sweet potato hash. Um, I did a lot of my prep last night because it makes things a lot easier. Obviously, you have a knife set. I really like how I'm using my spoon as a pointer. Um, obviously, you have a knife set and the in um, the cutting board here, but uh, I always find it much easier to do all of my prep at home where um, uh, you don't have to worry about the mess as much and it's easier to clean up. So I recommend that for uh, you know, breakfast in the parking lot in addition to when you're going out camping. Um, so first things first for a sweet potato hash, as you can imagine, are the sweet potatoes. I'm going to throw these right here in the cast iron. I have the stove already on and good to go. So we're going to let these sit for just a little bit and get them cooking. One thing I also like to do when I'm doing potatoes is put some water in it to soften them up faster. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chop up some garlic while we're standing here. We have onions and peppers already. Um, and then I'm gonna throw the sausage in this other pan. Um, everybody here today isn't, doesn't have any dietary restrictions or anything like that, but I like to cook the meat separate and then add it all together at the end. I always like to crush the garlic up, makes it easier to take the um, outside off. Mm -hmm. um, so one thing to note, I am about five foot six. This is still counter height for me. Um, one thing you might want to do if you're a little bit shorter, uh, might want to bring a step stool. We're working on a um, some kind of pull out step as well. But you can see that the stove is like perfect height, honestly, even a little low. So um, everybody can, can get into that. Using a 12 inch, I think it's a 12 inch cast iron um, from Lodge. You can find it on our Amazon storefront. Um, we love it. I love cooking a cast iron when you're camping. Um, and then this other one over here is actually part of the GSI um, like backpacking kit. They're really lightweight. The handle actually comes off and stores all together, um, making it easy to put everything away in your cabin or in your, in your galley. Um, so I kind of make things up as I go along. Um, I cook quite a bit at home and I actually love outdoor um, cooking quite a bit. So I'm gonna throw some seasoning on here in just a second. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of paprika, garlic powder in addition to a little bit of garlic here. Um, a little crushed red pepper eventually on the top. Um, salt and pepper obviously. Um, but you can, you know, you can do whatever you like too, which is awesome. Um, and the potatoes are getting a little softer. Uh, I'm gonna leave them for a little bit longer. Then we'll throw the pepper and onion in as well. Also, do this trick where you just push the outside. Boop, You're gonna crack some eggs, turn our burner back on here. So you press this, get that going. Get her fired up, you can see that she's on. Fabulous. And we're about there. I ended up with some scrambled eggs. Don't know if that was my intention, but pretend it was. Throw this on top. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 